Hey everybody. All right, welcome back to our book talk. Now today we have a book and I gotta tell you this one I'm a little biased on, Libraries of Minnesota. So this is a book that has, um, it gives seven different Minnesota authors. You can see them right there. And they each write a little essay about what Minnesota libraries have meant to them. And then there are just an astonishing number of pictures in here. So many beautiful libraries we have. So now I'm going to say, obviously, this book is totally for me. I'm very into it. Um, now, there is a little element of bias themselves is that they only talk about public libraries. <laughs> that is what people tend to think of when they hear libraries. But you should know, because we're sitting in one right now, this is not a public library. There are a lot of other kinds of libraries that are available for you and that you can use all over the state. So yes, public libraries, it doesn't matter where you are in Minnesota, you are covered by a public library. Wonderful. But you also can visit our library, plus all the other Minnesota State College libraries. So those are academic libraries. Um, if you still have a kid in school, in K-12 schools, of course, they should all have libraries. They don't all, but in a perfect world, they do. So those are libraries that are still good. Um, hospitals will have libraries, jails have libraries, businesses have libraries. So there are hundreds of libraries available to you across the state. And we're all designed just to help you find information that you need. So for sure, stop by this library at SCTCC, check out this book about the public libraries that you have across the state. I hope you also visit them and I hope, you know, that you're just, you're feeling very library positive. All right. If you need anything else, you know where to go, your library. Thanks everybody.